What's going on, everybody? My name is Josh. Welcome to Chill Deeply. Go ahead and roll yourself something up. Grab yourself a beverage. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the Jax Jocks app in conjunction with the Dumbbell Connect. Um, so when you first open the application, you're going to jump onto this screen here. This is the For You screen. Um, uh, it's going to have your recommended uh, classes up here, which will be curated through um, over time as you select classes. We'll sort of know which types of classes you want to take. Um, upcoming classes, so classes that you have scheduled, um, and it has it detailed here. Uh, with a calendar, uh, which I'll get into. Uh, it's a little finicky, but uh, it works, I guess. Um, coming back, uh, you have the programs. Uh, so this one right here is a six week program, has nine classes. You click on here, it'll have a detailed overview of what you're gonna be doing, the dates in which the classes are gonna be rolling, and um, then it has week by week with the classes that you have here. So it's pretty cool that they, they put that together. Um, I like that, so that's something that they have going for them. Uh, and then they got an ad for their uh, interactive studio. A uh, little shameless, shameless plug that they got going on there. Um, on the bottom here, you'll have schedule, classes, fitness, IQ, and devices. So those are your different categories that you can go through on the app. And up here, you'll have your uh, sort of like your profile slash like preferences menu. Uh, so we'll start here really quickly. Um, in the, the profile page, that's where you're going to have uh, like enter your name, your email, gender, height, weight, all that good stuff. Um, the height and weight is important because if you use this in conjunction with the heart rate monitor, um, it'll be able to calculate your target heart rate so it knows whether you're getting an efficient workout or not. Um, it has uh, devices here. I purposely removed the, the dumbbells here. That way I can show you guys how to add those on. I know some people have been having difficulty uh, connecting their devices up to the application, so we'll, we'll try and roll through that. Hopefully it works. Uh, now that I'm on cam, I, I bet you it probably won't watch. Um, subscriptions that you have, uh, preferences, really important. Um, add-ons, shop, instructor bios, all that good stuff that they have here. So let's go ahead and start actually with preferences, mainly because when you connect your devices up to um, the, the app, it says in, in the in the instructions, it says just make sure you have your Bluetooth on and you should be good to go, which is totally not correct. Um, yeah, you wanna have your Bluetooth on your phone. You also wanna have location services on and you also wanna come into here and make sure that allow Bluetooth connection is on. Um, I had everything else correct, but I didn't have this turned on and I was wondering why my, my devices weren't connecting. So just make sure that this is on um, and then it'll, it'll, it'll connect um, much more smoothly. Um, you go into my devices. I'm gonna go ahead and add these up real, real quick. Uh, click on this button right here. Let's go ahead and search for the devices. Um, you also wanna make sure that you're, you've are you clicked your uh, dumbbells on. You know, uh, I believe the, uh, the flash screen will go away um, or the LCD will go away. Um, fairly quickly, but the devices are still on, so you should be good to go. Um, it'll pop up, it'll, it'll let you know the devices that have connected, and this little checkbox will show up. So once the checkbox shows up, you click on here, then you're not done. Um, one thing I don't like about this, and it's, this is just me being nitpicky, because I always think of it from like a, my parents' point of view or someone that's not tech savvy's point of view, um, the icon here shows two dumbbells. So a lot of times people might see here, see that one's checked, and like, okay, cool, like I got my dumbbells connected, but yeah, that's just for one dumbbell. So. It would be nice if this was just showed one. Um, that way you know that you have a total of two instead of like seeing four here. I don't know, that just might be me, but uh, that's sort of how I look at it. Um, so the check is here, it says try connecting again. So you wanna click on this, then you'll see this move and then, then it'll let you know that it's connected once it connects. Um, then you wanna click on this bad boy, it does the same thing, click on this and then it'll let you know it's connected. So let me actually go back in here and search for devices. It should say that I'm finding two. <clears throat> Let's wait a little bit and see if it does. Oh, it says one found. Let's go ahead and click on here. Might be the same one that we just did. I have another dumbbell off the uh, off the rack right now. That way I can do some of the reps. But okay, yeah, I probably need to go and connect it back up for it to for it to see it. But it's good. Cool. Well, no, that was the other one. Cool. We're all good. We're, we're good to go. So let's go back. So now I got the dumbbells connected. Uh, subscription. So I'm on the free trial right now. So that's that. Um, Add-ons. So <laughs> look at this. It says Google Health Kit. Pretty sure that should say Apple Health Kit. Um, I think that's a huge typo there. And then Fitbit, I, I don't actually have the Fitbit device, but I do have a Fitbit account. Um, and it just, it hangs on the on the loading screen here. I, I went from the Fitbit side to Jack's Jocks and I got that connection working, but uh, from the other way around, it, it didn't work. So I, I think this just needs to, uh, uh, just some more development that needs to be done here uh, with these connections. In the future, I'd love to see it connect to uh, to Google Fit. I'd love to see it connect to Strava, which is like a huge app and some other ones too. Uh, that'll just make this um, a much better experience um, when it connects to some of the more popular um, uh, fitness apps. Moving on, uh, we have shops, so you can go ahead and purchase uh, some of the equipment that they have. Um, 
This is, is, it's funny because I think they put a lot of focus on the kettlebell connect. Uh, this is the, probably like, I think their first product that they came out with. And you'll notice that in the app, you know, uh, I think they need to catch up with some of the other products that they have uh, in terms of adding more content. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, instructor bios, which is cool. Um, so you can sort of check out and see um, what they're all about and such. You can see their, their specific workouts that they go through. One thing that I like about Jack Strocks, I haven't been through a lot of the classes, only clicked on a couple to tell you the truth because I just like to work out on my own. But um, I've, I've used like Peloton and some other services and with Jack's Jocks, they, they're genuine real instructors, right? There's no fake enthusiasm here. There might be a little bit of hype here and there, but it's not, not, not like Peloton, you know what I mean? So um, you can actually get through the workout and feel comfortable with the instructor and, and stuff instead of being like, man, this, this guy's a little hokey. So really like the, the instructors with Jack Strokes. They do a good job with that. Uh, <laughs> the support, in fact, um, leaves a lot to be desired here, to tell you the truth. Um, like it has a, a few of their products here uh, for support. Let me roll down to the Dumbbell Connect. That's what we're concerned about here. Kettlebell, Dumbbell Connect, right? Very first uh, action is, is, you know, how can I apply for financing? Like really, you know, um, I'm pretty sure there's more pressing needs. Uh, <laughs> people are looking in here like, how do I connect this stuff, you know? But all the questions that they have here is, is general stuff that you can probably find like on the box, really, you know? Like how, how much weight, what are the increments, uh, assembly are required, like do I need to download the app? Uh, what's, what if my dumbbell's not connecting? Like things like that, but there's no real hardcore, um, like customer, not customer support, but no real hardcore, like uh, uh, troubleshooting items in here. You know, you, if you go to the website, uh, you might find a little bit more, but uh, this leaves a lot to be desired, especially when you first get the, uh, get your equipment, you'd want the application to have all the information that you need. You don't want to have to go, go searching on the internet for, for any information, you know? So really wish that they would beef this up a little bit um, because there, there are some issues. Uh, this is a new product, you know, I understand there, and there are some issues uh, that I wish that would, they would, uh, sort of identify here. Okay, so let's uh, move out of this screen here. Cool, so let's go ahead and move on to, um, you know, let's get schedule out of the way. Um, this is probably like the biggest weak point I, I feel on, on this uh, app. Um, and let me show you why, okay? So today, what's today? The, the fifth? <clears throat> All right, so let's say I wanted to add a class. Uh, actually, you know what, let's do tomorrow. Let's say I wanted to add a class for, for tomorrow, right? I click on add class, all right, and it asks me, okay, cool, which, which type of filter type do you want? Well, and this is actually another category that we'll get into. They have sweat, which is like their, their cardio, strong, their strength training, uh, chill, which I believe is their, their like recovery, and then flex, is, which is like their yoga. But let's, never mind that. Let's just click on the class and say we want to add it. So cool, I see this class. Yeah, let's go ahead and add this bad boy. So I have it in here. Um, I see what kind of classes or what's going on. Awesome, cool, like it shows. This is like from my previous uh, workouts. It says how many reps, how many sets, the total weight um, that you used and such. Um, so you go down here to schedule class. Okay, cool. Now, instead of automatically going to Sunday the 6th, you basically have to repeat your steps here. And again, this is for people that aren't tech savvy. They're gonna be a little annoyed because they have to figure this stuff out on their own, right? Um, you should auto populate the day here. I don't understand why I'd have to go back in here and it's, it's sitting on today. So you can just as easily just click save and then automatically you're, you're saving it for Saturday instead of Sunday, right? So you still have to go through and click on the sixth, save the date. Let's say that's all you wanna do. Let's say you didn't wanna repeat it. You just wanted to have it set for tomorrow. You don't want a reminder and you click save. It goes back out without giving you any identification or any any signal that that actually worked. So this actually didn't save. Like if I were to go back out and then uh, let's see here. Let's go back. There's nothing here for that class here on Sunday. Right. It's like what's going what's going on there? I refresh. There's nothing there. Right. All those steps actually have to be completed for you to actually add a class in here, which is a little it's a little wonky. Right. So I go back in here. Click that, I have to set my specific day here, which should already be there. I have to click repeat set for it to work. It says, okay, what days do you want? Now, this is another thing that's really annoying, okay? You have to know the day of the week that, that, uh, that your class is landing on, right? You know it's Sunday, you know it's the fifth, but let's just say you, um, you click here and then you click uh, uh, repeat every week, every two weeks. What if you don't wanna repeat? That's another thing, right? You set repeat. See, the day's already on Saturday, cycle every week, and then you click save again, it won't go through. You have to set a reminder, right? So let me just set a reminder here. And then now that I click save, 
Um, now it went through, but you see it's not on Sunday. It's not on that Saturday. It's actually been placed um, up on the 12th. So if I view the 12th, there it is there. Really wonky uh, experience in terms of scheduling. Um, I wish they would get this fixed. This can be much simpler. They make it a lot, uh, way too difficult uh, for people to actually get this in. There's way too many steps, right? So ideally, like I said before, I would want it just to be, I click on Sunday, I click add class. It takes me to the class menu. I click on the class that I want. Let's say I want this bad boy. It should auto populate. Well, before it lets me know exactly what's going on in the class, I click schedule class for Sunday, December 6. Once I click this, this should automatically be populated. This repeat set shouldn't even be an option. Like I shouldn't have to repeat the set and I shouldn't have to set a reminder for this. Okay. Um, this, this is just way too clunky and this needs to get fixed. That's just, again, that's just my opinion. I don't want to bag on this if, to a lot of people. This might not be a big deal, but, um, I just want a quicker experience. I don't want to be fiddling with the application when I can be working out, you know, anyways. So that's my two cents on that. I'll stop ranting on that. So let's go back. Um, uh, let's go ahead and touch up on uh, classes. So um, this is pretty pretty cool that the idea is here. Execution just wasn't wasn't delivered on this. Um, still, it's a good experience. Again, I feel like I'm, I'm being a little negative here. I'll get to some of the positive stuff uh, with this in a second. But uh, again, they have sweat, strong, chill, flex. So they have your cardio, your strength training, um, your recovery, and your flex. Click on here on sweat. It'll walk you through uh, the sweat classes that they have here. You click on strong, it'll do the same thing. But then once you go ahead and go to chill, they don't have any content. Zero content for chill. Um, at least give us a notification that they're, they're coming or, or, or something's in the works here, right? Same thing with flex, nothing here. Give me something. Um, I searched online, uh, I'll, I'll probably like post something or put a link or something. Uh, I, I know they do have some of those classes here, just wondering why that's not in the application, right? So um, that's a, that's a little a little a little tick uh, that they need to get taken care of. Go to programs again. This is uh, that same menu uh, that was in the for you uh, menu. That same program there, and then skills. This is something that oh, I wish they executed on because this is such a cool feature, right? Again, like I said before, the Kettlebell Connect is I guess their first device. So they have a lot of content with the kettlebell connect. So it has different uh, types of workouts that you can do with that, uh, the kettlebell, right? So if you don't want to join the classes specifically on the application, the classes that they have together, and you just want to do your own workout, you get to learn the exact workout set that's going on, right? It's a really cool feature. And I wish they just executed better. Um, so they have all the stuff for the kettlebell, but then the moment you switch onto the other products that they have, they have nothing. Now this is, uh, their, um, like foam roller for recovery. This is really important because I think most people will probably know can get around learning how to use dumbbells. Um, you can get around learning how to use the kettlebell and I don't want to say that efficiently, uh, but you can still get around to how to use it. I think the foam roller is really important. A lot of people don't know how to, how to use these for recovery well. And I wish they just would have had this in here. Now the same thing goes for the dumbbells, nothing here. Again, a lot of people know how to use dumbbells, uh, but if you don't, I mean, this will be a helpful, uh, helpful tool. And again, the same thing for the heart rate monitor. Um, I, uh, this is really important when you're working out because then you can understand if you're getting an first efficient workout or not. So uh, this is something that they need to, to really uh, get working on uh, because I think this skills menu is really important for people that just want to work out on their own, right? Um, you scroll down, let me click on one of these. And they have their filter types and you can filter through like category, muscle groups and all that other good stuff. So that's cool. But again, the execution's not there. So this is, is irrelevant really. So again, I wish that was that execution was there, but once it gets done, it's, it, it'll be a really cool feature just to, to learn the workouts on your own. So let's quickly go to fitness IQ. This is basically just their, um, their way of letting you know how efficient or, or, uh, your progress with your workouts. Right. So, uh, the factors that go into this will be how many times a week that you worked out, average heart rate, uh, peak power, average power steps and body weight, uh, all that stuff, uh, will come in and, and give you your, your fitness IQ score. Um, so as you work out and as you, you progress, this will go out or excuse me, go up. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then also when you click on here, the class stats, um, it'll have like the certain stats that you have, uh, with the workouts that you've taken. Now I've taken a class. I actually didn't finish one. I was just testing it out. So I wonder if you need to complete the full class for you, for these stats to be populated. So I don't, I, I really don't know, but he goes from today, from the week, actually, there we go. Yeah. So, um, you don't have to complete the class. It sort of has it in there. So that's cool. I, I think the cool thing about this app, even though it's not executing on all the factors that it should be is 
when you see your progress, it sort of gamifies the workout, which makes you want to work out even more, you know? So, uh, especially for someone like me, who's a techie, right? I keep on wanting to coming, I'd want to keep on coming back, uh, just to see my stats grow and see what's going on. There are a few things that I don't like about how they, they pull these numbers together. Um, or I wish they can sort of break these out a little bit more and we can probably get into that when we go to the next tab here. But, uh, for instance, like total weight, um, you know, I, I don't really like how they just mash everything together. You know, I wish it would break it out by my sets or by workout or so on and so forth, but whatever, it's cool. I mean, at least I have some stuff in there. You'll see it's only been like a minute uh, that I've been trying some of this stuff out. So um, I need to, to go through some of these classes a little bit longer just to see um, how everything comes together. But for what, from what I've seen, you know, it works, it's good, um, but there are some things that uh, they need to work on. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and move on to devices. So. Um, this is actually what confused me the most, right? Because once I hooked up my dumbbells and I wanted to start working out, I was like, okay, cool. Maybe I end up on this screen uh, and then I'll be able to see my live reps. Um, and it worked after a while, I sort of got it to work, but then it, it stopped working. You, you're clicking on here, um, you'll see like your reps, average power, calories and stuff like that, and the sets and the weights uh, as you start working out. And uh, it took me a long time uh, to get it working. Then it finally started working. I was like, okay, cool. Like this is, this is awesome. Then the next day I tried it and it didn't work. So I was wondering what's going on. Um, clicking on controls. It says, uh, no devices connected, but you have these two here. This is a cool feature that I like. Um, you click in on one of these and then you can change the weight from the application, um, which is pretty cool. So I really like that feature. Um, and the thing is when you change it from here, um, it changes both dumbbells at the same time. So that's dope. So you don't have to go individually and do them both uh, uh, separately. Like it'll change both dumbbells at the same time. So that's a pretty dope feature. I, I like that. But um, to get this working, um, I actually got on the phone with customer service. Um, they got back to me um, just yesterday, actually. Um, and they said that the feature for this to work, they're gonna be adding new features uh, soon, actually, um, to the application. They're gonna fix a lot of the bugs that are in here. They're going to add, um, if you go back to, I believe it was the classes tab right next to skills, they're going to add a workout tab uh, and that's going to be for individual workouts, right? So you click on that and then automatically it's going to be counting your reps and looking at your calories and stuff like that. Um, but the way to get this working is actually you have to go and take a class. So if I go here, let's go to classes, let's go to strong. Um, let me click on this bad boy here with coach Kevin. And let's see, let me just start this class up. Um, and actually before I do that, uh, let me just have walk you through the breakdown here, right? So they have let you know that you got a five minute warm up. you're going through your workout for 35 minutes and you have a five minute cool down. Um, this isn't unified across all the, the classes and I wish it was, right? So it says DB, right? So dumbbells, KB, kettlebell, and it lets you know the, the equipment that you need in here. One thing I don't like is, let's say you just have your, your dumbbells. They don't go through an alternative for the workout that uses the other devices, like the other kettlebell, right? I know you can use a dumbbell for some of these kettlebell work, uh, workouts, and I just wish they would explain that, hey, if you guys don't have the kettlebell connect, you can go ahead and do it like this, right? But they don't do that. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna um, uh, sort of push people out from doing some of these workouts because they feel as though they need to have uh, more equipment to do it, you know, which is not which is not the case. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and start the workout. Um, now, one thing, uh, that caught me off guard too, is when you play it in um, the vertical mode like this, um, I might need to turn this down too. When you play it in the vertical mode like this, you don't see anything, right? And that's what caught me off guard because I was holding my phone trying to see, but then the moment you turn it um, horizontally, okay, that's when you start seeing all your metrics. When you click it on here, you see that you have your two dumbbells connected. You see your workout stats, excuse me you'll see your workout stats and all that other good stuff. So um, that's cool. So now all this stuff is going to be working um, once I pick up the dumbbell. So let me, I have one right next to me. Pick up my dumbbell and let me see if it's gonna be counting my reps. There we go. You see that? That's pretty cool there. It says average power. So if I were to really force it up, let's see if my power goes up. That's pretty dope. So that's the 
that's the way to actually get this working um, as efficiently as possible. Even if you're not following the class, if you just wanna see your reps and stuff, um, that's the way to really get it working. So let's go ahead and exit this real quick. Let's end the workout. Let's see here. So it says I did 22 reps, I did one set, total weight was uh, 176 pounds, which doesn't make any sense. So I'm guessing, cause I, I just have the eight pound dumbbell here. So um, I don't know if it's, it's multiplying by 22. I, don't, I can't even do the math right now, but yes, it is actually. Um, and then you have the duration, um, average power, calories burned. So you're gonna need the heart rate monitor for these, these things to be calculated, but that's cool. You know, that, that works well. Um, so I like that, but I just wish they had that, uh, that feature to where you can just work out on your own. Um, and I also wish that if I were to exit here, you see here that it lets you know the, the, the equipment that you need. If I exit here and let's say I go to another workout, let's try this one and see, this is curated totally differently. Like, why is that? This needs to be, uh, sort of in sync. All the classes need to be the same. That way you just, you can just minimize the learning curve. And again, I'm being nitpicky here, but. Um, when you have a new product, um, you sort of want this stuff to the execution to be perfect. You know, um, it, again, it's a great product that like that they're on the right track, but the application just needs to catch up with the dumbbells themselves. So that's pretty much, uh, all that you got going on here. Um, uh, with this application, it, it's, it's, they're on their way, right? Uh, they're, they're getting there. It's not perfect. Um, it's not a dud by any means, but, uh, there is uh, room for improvement. So I hope the next update that comes uh, through, uh, within the next week or so, or the next couple of days, uh, sort of focuses on that. And when it comes through, I'll go ahead and do another video, uh, and let you guys know what's going on with this. So thanks everyone for joining. Go ahead and chill deeply. Like always, uh, I'm Josh again and uh, have a good day guys.